Hello YouTube, Liam, the Deaf Do Metalhead with another collection update. I've got so many records come through, I have to do these otherwise it's just going to pile up and up and up. I've been going crazy recently uh, since the turn of the new year. I've just found so many deals, um, got a new cassette player up there so that's been happening, you know, I've, I've found so much. So this is all LPs um, and then the next collection update I might do a CD update and cassette update. And then I've got a special video I want to do that I need to sort out. Um, so yeah, it's all good, going well so far. So I hope you enjoyed my competition video and people get involved with that. But this is a collection update talking about primarily death metal and a few other you know little goodies here and here. So kicking off, there is a seven inch. Now this band uh, is a UK slash Poland band. Uh, I have the first full length. And that is uh, Eternal Rock. This is the seven inch demo that was put out in 2014. I have to use my notes that are over there so you actually get the right information. So I found this really, really cheap on Discogs when I was putting an order in for something else. So I kind of just shoved that in the basket. Um, big fan of this band. Very much like Hooded Menace, but their sound is really very more morbid than that. They kind of It sounds like a band of zombies playing doom metal. I, honestly, it sounds exactly like that. If you could picture that, this is what it is. It's very, very low tuned, very, very low in the vocals, and it just plods along. And yeah, it's very, very good. I mean, this EP is just two tracks, uh, one called Crawler, one called Sickening Deeds. This was put out through uh, Fallen Temple. I believe the demo before that had four tracks, but this is uh, a re-release with uh, the two tracks on it. It comes with a little inlay there on one side of paper. It came with a little A4 poster, which I've put up there, and a the sticker, which is on the turntable. Um, and there's two colours, I got the black version. But I paid literally hardly anything for this, and I just kind of shoved it in the basket, just to add to collection. I still need to pick up the latest from last year from these guys, which I haven't got around to it yet, but I will do. Um, so yeah, Eternal Rock, really cool band. Um, and yeah, if you're a Death Doom fan that likes zombies playing death metal, go check these guys out. Now the next one is a 10 inch, this is my first ever 10 inch, well, hey, in my collection. Recommended to me by um, Simon over at Explosive Action. I was watching one of his videos and normally they're very dangerous for me because he shows everything I like and I end up spending money. And he showed this and I thought, oh, I wonder how much that costs because the cover kind of got me in the first instance and it wasn't a lot either. So, I, you know, I bought that straight away. And that is, I think this just came out last year, uh, Noxus with uh, the 2020 EP uh, Expanse of Hellish Black Mire. This was put out through uh, Rotted Life Records. And yeah, again, really, really cool death metal. I mean, the album cover probably gives it away. These guys are from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And yeah, the, the, what I really liked about this was it's really pummeling death metal. But the bass is very nasty, organic sounding, very slappy. You can hear the strings rattling a lot. And it just it's very organic sounding, which I really, really liked. And uh, again, there's four tracks. Two on each side, and this is just just really fun, you know. There is a colour variant, but I could only get it on black wax, which you know I'm not bothered about. There's some music that's more important to me, but it comes with uh, this little inlay here with a picture of the band. I'm trying to see that without the light shining on it. So there's the band there, and you even get some lyrics, which you don't often get with EPs. So that was really cool. And yeah, this is very short, very sweet, but I've really enjoyed it. I've put it on a few times now. I'll re that later because that's not going to happen. So yeah, go check out Noxus. So this next one is a Scottish band. Um, I found these guys out purely by accident through Instagram. Um, and I really like the artwork they showed for the new album they're putting. Well, it's an EP, sorry. And I was instantly drawn in. It was released right at the end of February. And I brought this in the most heavy metal way possible. I was doing my shopping in Asda. I got to the checkout. The woman was waiting for me to pay. And then the band camp announcement came up saying, you know, you can buy it now. And I thought, if I don't do it now, I'm going to miss out. So I just said to her, do you mind just waiting 20 seconds while I sort out my banking details? I was lying to her. And all I was doing on band camp was buying this, you know, this EP while she was waiting for me to pay for my shopping. She was all right about it. But yeah, it was quite funny how that actually happened at that very moment. And I'm talking about the band Coffin Mulch. They are from Glasgow. This is put out through At War with False Noise, which I believe is their own label. And yeah, 
a really really cool band so this EP as you can probably tell by the cover artwork is just filthy nasty death metal really low gut rule very much in the vein of autopsy and all those really nasty down tuned death metal bands picture of the guys on the back there it's just really raw and nasty um, how many tracks we got uh, six tracks and yeah, I've spent this about twice now since I've had it. Very new. But what was really cool, and they did some really cool merch as well. They had like giant flags, patches, you name it. But it comes on this really far out there, uh, kind of, it almost looks like a reggae record to me. <laughs> and the guy on the, in, you know, in the inlay there, apparently he's called Colin. But yeah, this variant sold out very, very quickly. And I know a certain other YouTuber managed to get his copy, I think because of me t tipping them off uh, that they were going. Because there was no announcement, they just literally said they'll go on this day. There was no time, there was no pre-orders, you know, if you got one, you got one. And that's why I made the woman wait in Asda before I uh, purchased my shopping. Uh, no inlay, I don't believe. No. So yeah, coffee mulch. This is very, very popular. This also got put out in the States via... Um, I want to say Redefining Darkness, but I'm not sure if that's correct or it's Dark Descent. I always get those two mixed up. But go check these guys out. Very, very cool band. Now this next one I picked up on the cheap. Another Discogs find where I'm browsing the UK and I want, you know, deals. And uh, this one I already actually have on CD. So I'm probably going to give the CD away to a, a northerner that wears glasses that does these kind of videos as well. If he doesn't got it already, because I know he really wants it. So if you're watching this, mate, it's yours. Um, but this is Death Evocation with the Chalice of Ages. This came out in uh, 2015 for Extreme Music. This is a Californian band, and this is more in the vein of Death Doom, melodic death metal. But what's really weird is these guys are American, but they sound very European, like very Swedish. You know, it's, it's got that kind of tone to it and style. And when I first ever heard the band, I was convinced they were European, but they are American. Now, I've been after this LP for a while because this contains all their early EPs on the uh, C and D side, so it's a two LP set, <clears throat> but it contains their old demos and stuff like that, which I didn't have. The CD doesn't have it, that I have anyway. Um, and yeah, it was just a really cool, like, uh, I guess you can class them as like, they're very death metal with doom metal riffs in there, but it's melodic death metal essentially, but the old style, not that new style. And it um, comes on black wax. And the, um, the C and D side, the inlays are slightly different, but you know, really, really cool. It's stuck in there, it doesn't sit in there very well. Do that later. But yeah, go check out Defification. They are a really, really underrated band. You know, no one ever talks about them. I think I've only seen one other person in the YouTube community or anyone that does like music inspired videos talk about these guys. So really worth your time. <clears throat> so that's Defification. Next one is another Californian band. I picked this up watching a lady called Melanie. She's just started a YouTube channel. I think it's Melanie Loves Death Metal or something like that. And she's done quite a lot of videos already. Um, and she's shown all these tapes, all these LPs, and it's just like, oh, you know, every one of them I like. And she's a big Death Doom fan as well. So she's really helped me kind of find some bands I've never ever heard of. Um, and this one I was aware of, I think Anthony over at um, Metal Miners just showed this before. And I completely forgot about it. Um, came out in uh, 2018 through Tank Crimes. Features members of Exhumed and Necrot. And that is the Death Doom band Mortuous, I think it's pronounced. And the cover instantly drew me in. It's just really, really cool. I think the gatefold itself kind of makes the full artwork there. So you can kind of take it in for what it is. This has been repressed several times. And I found this through with a UK seller by accident kind of put it on my want list because I thought, oh, I need to get a copy of that at some point. Well, wasn't aware how tricky it is to find, but then it just kind of popped up. So I grabbed it there and then. So this is a 2020 repress, I believe. Inside there you've got lyrics and the bands, thank you notes. This is very much in the same style as those other like American Death Doom bands that are around at the moment. You know, it's very cavernous sounding, very heavy, very slow and chuggy. Loads of reverb and echo effects to kind of give it that kind of chasmic kind of sound. 
Um, you've got very brutal drumming, and it slows it right up. But what makes this really, really cool is the harmonies they use. It's really eerie sounding. And I've been jamming it in the car, and I you know, instantly liked it, so I had to get a copy of it. And it came on this really purpley, very much like Prince purple vinyl, as you can see there. So yeah, really happy to have it. Really enjoying this one. Been jamming this for quite a few times now. Put that away later as well. So yeah, more to us. Go check those guys out. Really good Death Doom. Now this is a new 2021 release for me. Another new 2021 release. Um, <clears throat> loads of people have been talking about it. I checked it out a while ago when uh, the you know the first kind of people picked a copy up, and I really really liked it. Uh, German Death Doom, Blackened Doom. There's funeral doom elements, there's gothic elements, it's got everything this release. And that is the latest from the ruins of uh, Beverast with the album The Fuel Grimoires. This came out through Van Records in, uh, I think it was January time, I believe, um, or very early February, I know that much. Everyone's talking about it, and rightfully so. I mean, this weighs like a book. It's really heavy, double 180 gram vinyl, and um, you know, it's absolutely chock a block full of really atmospheric, doomy, blackened, gothic y, you know, metal. You know, it's got, it's got everything. So, you can compare typo negative with black metal, you've kind of got what this album kind of sounds like. There's a lot of clean spoken word stuff, there's a lot of growly stuff, you know, that thing. I got the kind of marble dark green version. My lights are all over the place here. But again, it's one of those ones you can't just kind of jam, you have to kind of really sink your teeth into it, listen to it properly, otherwise you're just not going to get it. It's very long, I think it's over an hour's worth of music maybe, by memory. But it came with this really thick booklet with all the lyrics in it as well. Nice glossy book, full artwork. You know, it's just got it's, it's absolutely loads going on. So, if you, you know, when, you, when you're paying money for a release, you kind of want to get your money's worth. And this feels like I've got my money's worth. I had to order it from Portugal because there's none in the UK um, that were going for a sensible price. I got this, I think, about 30 quid all in with postage and arrived within six, seven days. So, I was quite chuffed with that. You know, full lyrics in there. <coughs> And an album and a band I've only just got into this year, never heard of them before. I've seen the album cover for the last one uh, before, but I never knew what it was. And this year I kind of went, I heard the, you know, people saying it was doomy kind of black and metal, and I thought, oh, I'd really like that. And yeah, spot on. I'm really, really enjoying this. So go check that one out if you haven't. Um, the next one is a 2014 release I discovered by a YouTuber, who was it, Dave, over at the Metal of Honor show. He was uh, showing this LP randomly in one of his updates a while ago, and uh, I checked it out, and it is really, really cool. Um, what I compare it to is it's Candlemas-esque, like riffing, but the vocals sound like Lee Dorian, but not in that whole Yogi Bear, oh yeah, none of that kind of crap. It's more that kind of <clears throat> that kind of growly voice he has. When he's doing his singing, like you know, the Witchfinder General, when he sings on that, the voice is very similar to this. A band is called Anguish. And this is their 2014 release called Mountain that was put out through Dark Descent. Now, Dark Descent don't normally put out like kind of that epic y doomy kind of sound, to my knowledge, anyway. So when I kind of checked this out, it wasn't a lot of money either, um, which was also very surprising. So I found this for less than a tenner. But musically, it's fucking awesome. Like, it's very much those big, thick, candle mass like riffs, and that, like, all I can compare it to is like Lou Dorian style, but not that annoying way he used to do the vocals where he put in random words. It's well, you know, it's kind of that growly kind of guttural sound. These guys are from Sweden as well, um, and they're very, very heavy band. Very heavy band. Came on black vinyl. Um, and I believe there is an inlay in there somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I never come out when I want to do a video. There we go. Came with a nice inlay there. Picture of the band. And like lyrics there on the back. Nothing too fancy. But like I said, I didn't pay a lot of money for this. And it is musically really, really good. If you're a Doom Metal fan, you know, you're going to enjoy this no matter what. I'm fairly confident even traditional Doom Metal fans would enjoy this. There's no death metal-esque stuff in there at all. This is very much epic doom with Lee Dorian Cathedral-like vocals. So 
if you're a fan of Stone of Doom, traditional metal even, you're going to get a kick out of this because the guitar solos are awesome on this as well. So go and give this a go if you want to try that one out. And lastly, this one I ordered back in, I want to say September last year, October last year as a pre-order. Supposed to come out in November last year. Never happened. The label, for whatever reason, just couldn't get it pressed in time. And it only arrived maybe two weeks ago with that, maybe a week ago. And that is the latest from the band Polka Morte from America. Now, this is Def Doom, but it's got loads of different kind of styles in there. Their previous album I really enjoyed. Uh, again, another one Dave recommended to me uh, from the Metal of Honor show. He also you know, got me into this band completely. Never heard of them before. Bit of a super group. The singer is the uh, guy from Skeleton Witch. And he does all the vocals on here. And this, this album, especially compared to the last one, is more blackened Death Doom. It's got that kind of black metal vibe going on with it. Really cool stuff though. But I, I pre ordered this, like I said, in September or October time. Never heard, you know, they just kept saying there's no chance it's going to come out anytime soon. And yeah, I mean, I can't moan because the quality of I mean, it came in a really well packaged um, parcel from Poland, where I guess that's where they're shipped from for Europe. You know, and it's immaculate, so it's like got a matte finish to it. And Transcending Records, you know, they put, they're put they re-releasing some really cool records at the moment. So I'm very keen, but the gatefold looks amazing. So the band kind of done in these kind of tarot card looking characters here. We've got thank you notes there. You know, it's just, it's just amazing. And the vinyl itself, there was two versions. I went with a kind of black and marbled kind of look. See if I can get it out and show you. So one side's better than the other, so that's one side there. Try and do it so you don't see my monitors. And there you go, like that. But yeah, really, really good Death Doom. The guitar work on it is very, very technical, so it's, it's not like shreddy or anything like that. It's just the way the harmonies are done and the way syncopated notes, all that kind of thing, is very complicated. Uh, like sweeps, there's, there's all sorts going on in this, and it's really, really good. Nice little inlay there with pictures of the band recording the album, and I'm guessing they're the lyrics, but I do you do well reading them off that. So yeah, Polka Morte, go check them out. Really cool band. So yeah, thank you. It's just a little collection update to try and get the, the LPs out of the way that I'm building up here got loads more to show you though there's still more to show so thank you for everyone that's watched this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video in the meantime i'll speak to you guys soon cheers